All right, y'all, <laughs> I'm making uh, this post today, not for content value, but hopefully for a teeny bit amount of inspirational value and the reminder that sometimes good things take time. So as you may or may not know, if you follow me, follow me much online, uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Brand Builders Group alongside my wonderful partner and awesome husband, Rory Vaden. Um, and we help people build and monetize their personal brands, which ultimately means we help people become more well-known and become the go-to person in their space, right? That's kind of what we do. Now, it's one of those interesting things because that is what we do for every single person that we work with. But me, myself, and I, AJ Vaden, has been trying to build her own personal brand for the last 10 years. And for whatever reason, there was always something that I allowed to get in the way, building this business, traveling, having kids, starting our new business, having another kid, right? all these things um, that really prevented me from doing it. And I have been telling myself that lie for a really long time. And I've been telling myself that, oh, it's because I don't have time. It's because other things always take priority. And I had an epiphany this past weekend um, that actually that's not why. Um, the reason why I haven't gone full in on my own personal brand is because I haven't been clear on what problem I solve. I've been sitting in this lane of ambiguity and uncertainty around what is it that I feel like I am called to do in this world? I have not been extraordinarily clear for my, myself, um, for my, my own personal brand of like, what problem do I solve? Like, what, get, what do I really want to talk about? What have I earned the right to talk about? Like, what calling do I feel like God has on my heart? And I've gone through multiple iterations of what we call our brand positioning statement, right? figuring out what problem you solve and what's the message to solving the problem and what's your uniqueness and who do you solve it for. And we do this for a living. Let me just remind you, like this is what I do all day, every day for the clients that we love and serve. Um, and I haven't been able to do it for myself until now. This has been a four year, very intentional journey for me. And um, this is the inspirational part of this. Like, there's, a, there's an upside. Um, I'm so glad that I waited. I'm so glad that I didn't rush this process. I'm so glad that my impatience and my comparison of everyone around me didn't push me into building a website and building content and launching something that my heart wasn't into. I'm so glad that God put a stillness on me that made me wait so that I could come to the clarity that I have now. And I just, I want that same thing for you. I know it's really easy to look around and go, man, everyone else has, has it figured it out. Everyone else is doing it. Uh, everyone else is making all this progress and here I am just stuck. Um, this should be happening faster. Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe you are exactly where you need to be because there isn't enough clarity on that next step yet. And it's okay to be still and be okay to be in the waiting period. That doesn't mean you stop thinking, you stop working. That just means maybe there's something missing yet that you haven't uncovered. And that's what happened to me. Um, and there was an amazing light bulb. And it's like, as soon as I've had this light bulb for like the last three days, I have seen signs in every page of books that I've read, podcasts that I've listened to, conversations that I'm having with people. And I just feel like this affirmation of like, this is it, this is it, this is it. But I have been waiting for four years legitimately. And if I really look at the scheme of things, uh, more like 10 years. Um, and I'm now, I'm, I'm so grateful because I now know this is what I feel like God has called me to do. This is the message on my heart. This is what I was meant to talk about. This is why I'm here. And now I can go and do it. So my encouragement is don't rush it. Don't rush it. Be okay in the waiting. Stop looking around. Uh, don't look around. Look in and just wait. Wait till you feel it. Wait till you know it because it's going to come. And when it does, it's going to be so worth it.